Okay, located here in Sturgis, Michigan. Uh, not bad today, 41 degrees. That's uh, about uh, four minutes to 12. Gas here is 2.30. It's kind of holding off, hoping it uh, go down a little bit, but uh, doesn't look like that's gonna happen soon. Yeah, I'm trying this uh, mount, finally got me a mount figured out for this camera. Uh, it's a suction cup mount for phone, universal. I took one of the adapters, got some of this 3M Velcro. It's uh, three times stronger than regular Velcro. It's, it's really strong Velcro. I have a hard time peeling that off. But it seems to, seems to look like it's pretty sturdy now, so I guess I'll find out when I uh, upload the video. have the steady on now so that that might help too these roads are terrible yeah Sturgis Michigan I was born here born and grew up here most of my life as you know now I live in Burroke Michigan I want to go by uh, this little park I used to hang out when I was a kid in the winter time I uh, practically lived down there in the winter. Great big hole. Kids sled down at uh they say it used to be a city dump many, many years ago, which is probably true. All these people stay in the middle of the road. Average size town. I don't know how many people live in this town actually. I'm just avoiding the main roads right now due to all the traffic today. Old Congress School. I never went to that school. Got a lot of old little schools like that around here. I went to a few of them. Yeah, he wouldn't have to walk in the road if uh, people shovel their sidewalks like they're supposed to. Perfect day for that. 42 degrees. Which should be a city ordinance on them shoveling, keep your sidewalks cleaned off for school kids and postal services and whatnot. Yeah, this is an old section of the brick road. Jeez, I have no idea how long this brick's been here. Been here longer than I have. Still holding up pretty good. It's a little rough, but sure holds up a lot better than that blacktop. There's a newer section. Uh, it'd be in behind us. We'll come back through that way. We'll check that out. There's actually some of these little brick roads along the some of the back roads but they uh, they got covered up with blacktop We'll see if there's some sledders here today. Yeah. How about that? Nice to see kids get out and play. There's life. More to life than just video games, I tell you. Yeah, I used to spend a lot of time down here. 
pretty popular in the summer too. People pull off the shoulder here and have their lunch, walk their dogs. to have one of them uh, oh I think it was a radio flyer they call it the sled with the steel rails and the wooden slats you don't see them nowadays they just got them plastic discs and tubes some of them hills are pretty steep <laughs> having there's a double hill you hit that first bump and you go airborne it's pretty cool There's another section of this park. It's got a few mellower hills. Little kids, we'll see if there's anybody out there. I don't know what kind of view you got of that, but I have to put the old hat cam on sometime. Come down here. Radio stores, not like it used to be when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's why I avoid this main road traffic.
couple of stores that uh, still survive. Been here for quite a while. It's like a Willer's shoe store or corner cafe. Yeah, to the left there, it's the old train depot. I don't know how good of a view you can see of it. I'll turn around and get a better shot of it. islands in the middle of the highway there oh, it's what a pain you gotta go out of your way to even turn around and get anywhere I don't know looks nice in the summer but it gets in the way yeah this little train depot they're still still setting it up they moved it it used to be uh, oh about a mile north of here on uh, east-west railroad tracks this is the north-south railroad tracks now they use these tracks more plus it's a uh, better location where it was it was you know, it's getting vandalized couldn't hardly uh, you know there was no light or nothing it was kind of in a bad neighborhood so I think it'll do a lot better here come back in the summer when it's all set up I'd like to take a tour inside I've never been inside here Something how they move that building to one piece, without it falling apart. I'm sure, there may be a video out there somewhere. I have to do some research. Yeah, there's more of this town to see, but. Uh, some of them lights you can turn on red green light and everybody's just sitting still used to stay up upstairs and they had a pole to slide down they let us slide down that that old schoolhouse there on the left I went to that one used to be Sturgis Middle School now it's Sturgis Academy building across of that is a auditorium tracks they don't uh, use them like they used to they tore them out on the uh, on the west side of Sturgis just outside of town they tore them out and then uh, to the north it goes to a factory then it stops and then to the south it goes to the Indiana border and it stops but west it, uh, it goes oh, all the way to White Pigeon and then from there I don't know where it goes probably down to Indiana but it connects into the north and south tracks also so that's the only way to get in and out of there all right well 
I guess I cut this video, not much going on, so I'll give you a tour of Baroque when we get there. Probably that's about, I don't know, eight, nine miles away. Not much to see, but yeah. Give you something to look at. Alright, we'll talk to you later.